Hey, hey guys, we're back, back again, episode two of season three. I am so keen, I am so keen to play. I've been playing a little bit, I didn't want to do too much without you guys, just because it's the start of the season and I, this is my favorite part, favorite part, and I was just like, yep, I need to, I need to play, I need to get some stuff done and sorted, and I want to get into it, but I need to, you know, chill out a little bit, take a step back, and just remember i got to record it, so I didn't go too far, I sort of went down a little bit of caving, um, I got, that's finished, so I got a bit of iron, um, didn't miss too much, honestly, didn't miss too much, um, I just went into a, the cave which we went to over there, like that little cave near the sand bit over there, so that's where we're going to head right now, because there's a few things down there that I want to grab, and I want to show you guys what I kind of found, but the main thing that I need this iron for right now is armor. I died about three times down there because of creepers. I'm so not used to creepers um, at the moment because I'm always used to having like armor on or diamond armor in my, you know, in, in season two because that's just where I was at. I was out there getting all that sort of stuff. So we might make another pick just in case we end up finding some something awesome when we get to mine a lot of it like coal and stuff like that so pretty much we're just going to go head over and i'll show you what i found we found something pretty cool i did find an abandoned mine shaft and i forgot to get the coordinates because i need to get the coordinates of that to see where it is in relation to a little base here um, I know I'm going to be building my base, that's not going to be where my base is going to be, that's just a little little starting point for now, but um, yeah, so I need to, because down here there's something very special that I found, you probably figured it out already because I've said abandoned mine shaft, but it's not what you think, um, you may be thinking a spider spawner, but you are incorrect, it's a spawner, not for spiders, for something else that rhymes with S, and yeah, that's probably give it away because I don't think there's any other mobs that run with that, that start with S, so that's fine, um, hang on, I probably should show you where I'm going actually, <laughs> just run it in there like everybody knows where I'm going, um, so yeah, we got the big ravine here, so I've just sort of made my way through here, this is where I died the first time, I was walking, 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 all I heard was tss, bang, dead, I think you fell from up there somewhere, and here's some iron that I've actually missed, because I was doing this in kind of the dark, so that's probably how I missed it, but, you know, that's all good, we'll grab it, oh, big spot, oh, Jesus, I've missed so much, this would have been great if I had had that, but, you know, that's all good, we'll grab it now, um, but yeah, I found a skeleton spawner, so I just want to, um, I just want to see where it is in relation to my base, see if I can, oh, itchy nose, see if I can dig down from my base and, you know, maybe it might be under it or something like that or, or close enough to it, so I kind of went in this little hole here, um, I was looking for noises, like s s zombie noises, and I kind of made my way down to the under here, and there bam, found it, and I went this way, um, I've kind of gone through a lot of it, there's a few bits up here that I haven't gone through yet, there's a bit of iron and coal on the way here that I hadn't managed to pick up yet, but here we go, straight ahead from here, so reasonably close, I think. I'm hoping it's reasonably close. Anything in here? No. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. We'll grab that. Uh, that's where you might have seen I found a, uh, a book. And I also found... Um, oh. Nothing that way. I thought there might have been something that way. But um, yeah, I, I haven't gone through much of it. I've gone through a little bit of it. And I know that there is um, some things around here that I don't really want to encounter yet. Like baby spiders. I can hear them up in up in the top there, so we'll try and block that off just for now, because I know that they are up there, and I can hear them when I was when I was over in this direction. I could hear them, so I'm not really that keen to fight those little bastards yet, because I know that they'll wreck me. They will absolutely wreck my heart out. So what I want to do is I just want to grab the coordinates actually of this. We'll see where this is exactly. Um, so one one seven three one six. We might screenshot that just so I can come back to it in a minute. But that looks pretty good. So I want to get this sort of set up. This is actually really, really awesome that I found this straight up. I don't really need it sort of now because I kind of want to get a lot more resources um, first. But um, actually, yeah, we'll go do that. I don't really want to... This is something I can do off camera. All you, all you guys pretty much have seen how to make one of these. What you do is you you have to make an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, 
square in here. So you go like eight that way, eight that way. But the way you do it is you go sort of three out this way, then this will be the seventh, then three out that way. So you've got six, so you've got a seven by seven. And then you have to look in the direction where everything goes minus. So see how these this goes up this way? No, that's wrong. So I'm guessing it might be this way. And yeah, this is the one because, uh, actually no, it'd be this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. So you have to make sure that X and Y both go, um, like they both go into like minus, they both, how do you even say that? They're both minus, they both, you know, get smaller, they both, whatever you say. Um, so they both go, um, get smaller. Holy shit, where'd you come from? These guys shoot so quick these days. Where did he come from? He might have spawned around here or something. We might put a little block back there just for now and a block there. Um, but yeah, so you need to make sure that they both go smaller. So this is on 117 and that goes down to 116. This is on 316, 315. So this is where you would make your, these, these two corners here, this is where you would take your blocks away. So this is when it becomes an eight by eight and that's the way that you'd want them to go. So you could take them that way and get them out of your way. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably do a bit more explaining when I actually get to building that. Uh, I don't really want to try and explain it now, even though I just tried to do that, but I'll explain it a little bit better when we get to it. Um, oh, lots of iron around here. Lots of iron actually. And that goes back up into that cave there. So we'll stop that and I will put some blocks there just so nothing can get through. Cause I don't really want things to come through at me yet. We'll get that in there. Brighten up. There's a lot of coal here. Really a lot. Oh, get this way. A lot of sorry, a lot of iron, which is great. This is this is the main thing we need straight off the bat, so we can get some good armor, which we've already got, just so we can keep our armor replenished all the time and tools for for mining and digging and everything else we've got to be doing. So this looks pretty. This this rooms are crazy. They're exactly the same on all four corners. That is very cool. I love these little random rooms you find around this place. You know, in Minecraft, it's pretty cool. Very very cool. But uh, one thing I wanted to talk about just quickly and thank you very much for is um, the response that this first episode got on, you know, the first episode that came out the other day. Last Thursday I put it out. Oh my God, the response I got from that was absolutely amazing. You guys are the best. Um, I got a lot of, you know, well wishes from you guys for the for the rest of the season and I got the one thing that, that amazed me so much was the amount of likes I got. I got, I think I got maybe 78 or 17 or maybe even 80 by the time this goes up 80 likes in that first episode was absolutely amazing so thank you very much but um i don't want that to drop off i really really want to continue with the more the more likes you know that video got a lot more views than my videos usually do because of the likes so that's one thing if you guys could help me help me uh, help me out and uh, keep that liking up would be absolutely amazing. Uh, one thing, um, if this video, one thing I want to I want to try and push this video. If this video gets to 100 likes, that's right, 100. I know we can do it. Like we got, what do we get? We got 80 in the last one. That's 20 more people. There's 20 more people out of the 400 or 500. So if you guys that watch this can drop a like, like you know, it'd be amazing if you, if we could get to 100. I am going to do one thing I wanted to do for a while and some of you might be excited is I'm actually going to do a setup video of my exact setup. I get questions all the time, you know, what screens have you got? What size screens do you have? You know, what mic do you use? What keyboard and mouse do you have? Like questions like that, that I know a lot of people ask just, just out of curiosity for you, you know, just even just friends or people that you follow on YouTube. Like I still ask those questions. I still ask those questions to my big, my favorite YouTubers like Peter Below and stuff like that. Like I ask him, you know, what, oh shit. Sorry. I heard something coming then. Oh, oh my God. I knew I heard something coming. Oh Lord. And there we go. Spiders right there, baby spiders. And let's block these off for now. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Oh, I heard something coming and I did not expect it to be him. And I really didn't want it to be him, but it was, um, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, one thing I'm wanting, you know, kick and ask, you know, what keyboard and stuff do you have? What this and that, what that do you use? So I'm going to do a setup video. 
only if this video gets to 100 likes. So if you guys really want to see my setup video, I have actually bought another screen. I can't say it too loud, my girlfriend doesn't really know as of yet. Please, I hope she's downstairs watching TV, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> so hopefully, if this gets to 100 likes, I'm going to do a setup video and you get to see my new setup uh, as it's coming. So I really want that to happen. I really want to you know, do a setup video, but it's only going to happen if it gets to 100 likes. I really, really would appreciate that would mean a lot so so yeah thank you in advance for that happening so <laughs> would be good but um yeah so i just want to do a bit more mining here and pick up a few things um you've basically seen what we've got going on here so we've got that um i just wanted to show you what i'd been up to show you that i had found a skeleton spawner i'm going to do a bit more mining down here and i'm going to set up a few more things along the way here and um, i'll be back with you guys in a moment and we're back over at the skeleton spawner and welcome back to my house. So I've come back up. Uh, I've got my iron cooking there and the sun is going down. So we'll have to jump in bed if we can, not yet. Um, so I've just popped all my stuff up. Um, you guys know me with my organization. I have to have it perfect, otherwise I get a headache because of the OCD. Um, but yeah, look at that beautiful sunset. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, got me a special chest over here for me, a cobblestone and all the stone sorts of things. Got the rest of the stuff over here. That's empty. I forgot about that before I put that there, but that's fine. Um, so we'll jump in bed. We can. Beautiful. Okay. I took a screenshot, did I? Oh, I did too, of the um, skeleton thing. So you can see that little blick there. I have marked that out, so we'll go check that out. Uh, I have actually marked it out. I've made myself a little walkway here as well. Um, just took take a couple from there. Just a bit of an easier way to get across here because my... Um, bases on the other side of the, the little river we've got here. But this river is absolutely awesome. I love these rivers. I love, love, love rivers. So that goes all the way out there, out to whoever knows, kingdom come, wherever you say, out, out to nowhere, um, wherever that is over there. So that's the village, sorry, they're not the village, the desert. I keep thinking of my village. I miss my village. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this bit here, this is where you would come um to go to down to the skeletons so this is where they are directly below this so if we go up here i think it's at 117 and 316 that's exactly it spot on right there so um i've mined it all out down there so it's ready to go just got to get some buckets and you know put all the water stuff in that sort of thing you guys know the standard sort of skeleton thing i've got going there but um i wanted to have a quick look around this area just to try and because i haven't actually search that far that the furthest i've gone is in the first episode out that way and over there so i just kind of want to check it out see what's happening um just kind of get my mind around what i can kind of build here because i want to build something i've got an idea of what i wanted to build i'm wanting to do something with the water i know in in the old jnr um this is this is kind of uh, i'll get to that in a second but something that i wanted to try and do was was to use the water um, because we've got a lot of water here, like a bay kind of thing here, but um, I'll probably take that out and have this sort of like a little dockyard or shipyard or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out for that. But I want to use, utilize the water because I love the water. I love the look of it, and I just want to use it to my best advantage. So what I'm planning on doing, um, this isn't set in stone yet. I've obviously got to do a lot more thinking and planning about it, but I'm wanting to use maybe this area here because I can connect these up and I can connect all connect all these up here. So we've got this spot here. I could connect this with that, that with that, that with that. And instead of having an underwater base like in the old JNR, I want to have an above water base. So I want to be able to go from land to land, go from this um, you know forest over to the extreme hills, all the way over there and around over whatever is beyond that far because this is this is the furthest this actually renders so without me changing settings but for far i think it's far yep for far um that is the furthest of that render so i can i do not know what's beyond that um so we'll i just want to go maybe from here to there connect all this up and then have like a big hovering water base there with you know big pillars holding it holding it down you know make it look real legit like something that's it's like a you know like bridges how they've got the pillars in the water you know you don't see many bridges that are just hanging above the water with nothing holding them up but um yeah so i think that that, that sounds like a good idea obviously that is a long-term project um 
just thought I'd, I'd let you guys know sort of that's what I'm working towards something something here I don't know whether it's going to be a circle or square a triangle or, or whatever but, but but something something in that in that general area here of, of some sorts of greatness which uh, which I'll hopefully work out you know soonish um, we'll get, get sort of working on that um, but yeah want to just get uh, sort of my, my whole base and everything sort of set up um, initially initially so I can survive I want to um, grab some animals over and get you know a little bit of a oh, I'll bring it over here and make my little base over here get some animals set up and get a few farms and stuff set up so we can uh, sort of you know organize some stuff but I just want to go check out you know a bit of the surroundings here so I know what I'm working with I'm going to check out over this way a little bit haven't been very far at all so I've only been that way we know it's that way so we know these extreme hills is over here so that looks pretty nice I love me some extreme hills get some emeralds over there that would be bloody beautiful wouldn't it got look it looks like another little bit of a forest over here um, so we've got the extreme hills just there and then we've got um, a bit of a forest this is the forest and it looks like another bit of a forest over there Let's just go, I might go check out a little bit of a render over here. I just want to see what's going on over here. I might make, make a boat really quickly. Actually, that might be a better idea. I might go for a little bit of a boat around and, and go suss it out what's happening over there. I'm going to take some of these back over. I'm going to get a bit of a, a bit of a reed farm happening back over in here a little bit. Just like so a monitor a little bit closer. Oh, let's, let's head over here. I, um... I changed some settings as well, so you might notice maybe my voice is a little bit different, or hopefully it's a little bit clearer, and maybe the audio, sorry, the, the visual is a little bit better as well. I've changed a few DX story settings, so hopefully it looks a little bit different, a little bit clearer for you guys, but you know, 720p on YouTube is always pretty decent, so we'll pop these along here. So 720p on YouTube is always pretty decent anyway, so... Um, but yeah, if you want to watch it in great quality, watch it in 720p. I've noticed I've been doing that a lot lately. I never ever used to watch YouTube videos or anything in 720p and just when I got my new cable I started watching you know internet and so YouTube in 720p and it makes so much of a difference it actually makes it look so much better you can notice those little things like um like I just said now so you, you notice those little things that you don't really notice um in like 360p or 480 or whatever you watch it whatever else you watch it in but yeah, makes a difference. So let me know. Let me know if uh, if the little changes and tweaks I've made to my my software has made any difference. But um, yeah, hopefully, hope it's a little bit different. Um, with the uh, with the actual skeleton spawn, I know it's not really that uh, you know too important now that I need XP because I haven't got really anything. I don't know how to have a chain table, or anything like that, or diamonds for that matter. Um, but I really just want it for bows and arrows because that's something that I really enjoy and really, you know, like having on me for security. Um, I'm having to shoot around and, you know, get around at nighttime and whatever. Um, I like having a sword, but bow is really, really a preference for me to have that on. So, you know, it's not really for the XP. Obviously the XP will be great down in there, but, um, yeah, not something that, that, that's what I'm working towards. Not really working towards it just being an XP xp farm um oh this place looks very cool i love minecraft music it's so soothing to my ears so this isn't really that big is it oh lava that is awesome make it some cobblestone cobblestone generator right there this isn't really that big. You know, we've got a bit of area around. Oh, we're generating some more. We're generating a bit over here. But this is this is a nice area. I'm not going to really be building over here at all. But it's just nice to check it out. I just wanted to see what I was, what I got to work with over here. So we can sort of get happening. But that looks like it's going to generate a little bit. Oh, oh, Jesus. That is... That nearly could have been an instant death for the boat. But that, that doesn't look too bad. Can we get through here? No, this ain't going to help us get through. Let's connect this up really quick. Let's jump out and we'll connect all this up. Hopefully we can... I want this sort of order to connect up. This will look really cool if this all works. So let's see if we can get this to connect up so I can make uh, make a little safe journey back through. Make a safe little Jack's journey back over onto my homeland. So let's get this all dug out and make it all beautiful. Let's hope it works. We might have to bring some buckets of water over or something to get it sort of all happening but 
it should work. It should work pretty well because of the the way I've got the angles sort of sorted. Did that work over there too? Is that skeleton that? Down in here, I have to imagine. Oh, Jesus, no, thank you. I am not keen for down there. But that looks very cool, I like that. That, that makes that makes a bit of a difference to go back through. Excellent. Now let's jump in the boat and we'll shoot back over. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the episode. I'm going to bail out now. Uh, oh, in a second, not right now. See you later, bye. Um, <laughs> no, we'll bail in a second, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys are really enjoying the way the episodes are going. Um, uh, I've taken on a bit of feedback from you guys in the comments, so if you've got any other feedback about my episodes that I could possibly do, um, you know, let me know, and uh, and I'll definitely look at doing that. But um, really hope you guys give me some ideas about the the overwater base. It should be you know roughly in this area here, around this sort of area, connecting up all these islands and something up in here. So we'll sort that out shortly. Um, I'm just going to go head back down and get that um, skeleton spawner set back up so we've got something to work with, get a bit of XP and get some uh, bows and arrows happening there. Um, but yeah, really hope you enjoyed the episode. I um, hope you have a good week at work and that sort of thing and school and whatever else you guys do. And um, don't forget, I will also be streaming on Wednesday, streaming probably some of this or um, something else along the lines there. I might stream a bit of this now. I've got this up and running, which is great. So, um, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on next episode. Bye-bye.